because I'm about to do that same thing, I renamed the talk uh, What Not to Do. Um, but uh, no, we're actually going to talk about um, PubPub and why we don't implement the, the annotation standard um, and why we'd like to and invite you to tell us why we're wrong and help convince us as a model argument for um, other larger players who, who I think are more important than us. So um, with that in mind, uh, just a brief introduction to PubPub. We are a open source end-to-end uh, -end scholarly publishing platform. We work mostly with, with um, uh, academic content. Um, we're turnkey and uh, collaborative in real time and, and automated and end-to-end -end and all of these things. Basically, you can do everything from uh, 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 submission to editing and collaborative editing and drafting in real time, multimedia version control, all the way through to, to actually publishing and designing your site and depositing. Um, of course, we support annotations. Uh, it's a huge part of the platform. And in fact, our users, there's like hundreds uh, of users now, 400 plus communities uh, who use PubPub, and they use annotations in really, really innovative and interesting ways, like uh, this open review of a book. Um, that happened uh, late last year and earlier this year uh, got thousands of comments actually on the on the source material from the community that improved the the book that's going to be coming out later this year. Um, so that's really cool. Um, and also, we're part of this larger infrastructure at MIT called the Knowledge Futures Group, which is devoted to building open, transparent, and uh, importantly, community and institution-owned um, infrastructure, uh, knowledge infrastructure, basically. And so that makes it really, really awkward that we don't um, actually uh, adopt the, the web annotation standard. Um, like I said, we, we want to. We think we're a great candidate. And we've had multiple opportunities to adopt it. Um, we've actually rebuilt the discussion platform like three different times internally. We're rebuilding it a fourth time. Um, and each time we've decided uh, not to adopt the standard. And so this is telling you why as, again, like a, a friendly people who want to, uh, who actually really want to adopt it, but to tell you like how it just never makes it to the top of our roadmap. So um, there's a, three basic reasons that we keep coming back to. Um, the, the first one is that, uh, like the definition of annotation for us is is you know still a little bit hazy. Like there's a, a weird line for us between uh, what a review is, like what an annotation in the context of a peer review is, versus what an annotation in the context of a comment is, versus you know something else. This example here is is a track change, uh, uh, an annotation. We probably would build it into our annotation system, but um, you know how much should we expose that to other people? Should we make exceptions for it and so on? That's a question that comes up. And then there's also a language problem. We don't call them annotations on our um, platform, we call them discussions. And so when if we were to adopt it and release it, how do we tell our users that this is what we're doing and that we're connecting it to this larger thing um, that everybody else calls by a different word? So that's one thing that like are, are all open questions for us that we, we hope that um, uh, you can help us and others facing this problem address. Um, the second one, I've like even learned at this this conference about tools that can help us with this, but we've rebuilt our system three times. Mm -hmm. um, we've updated references to annotations three times. Um, we're a little bit nervous about what happens uh, if we have to now make these updates across syndicated caches. That just seems um, like a really thorny problem. It looks like the community is solving that, which is really nice, but, um, but that, that continues to be something. But then the third and I think most important reason um, is that this has never happened. Uh, we've never had a user request for interoperability, um, which is a huge shame because that's the main benefit of it, right? And so, but if you're a product manager and you're, you know, prioritizing features and you look at the web annotation standard and everybody goes, here are these great uh, things you can do with interoperability and nobody's ever asked for that, um, that's a big problem. What I can share with you is a couple of reasons why we think that um, that, that may be the case. Um, the first one is that uh, PubPub is um, built for communities. Uh, and it's built for people who have very specific behaviors and norms. And it's built for people who have very specific brands. And what we find basically is that culture and brand don't interoperate very well. Um, someone on Rap Genius or and now just Genius annotating something is going to do it very differently than you know, someone who's annotating something in a book, uh, uh, you know, a scholarly book about something. Um, they're just going to use different language and context. And so it's kind of awkward in that, um, uh, in that scenario. And then I think the other thing that we've learned uh, about it, and again, Benjamin addressed this a little bit, and I think it's important to, to note that, um, is that interaction and user interface are, are super uh, tightly coupled. And one of the main uses of annotation on our platform is actually people embedding these discussion prompts in line into the document, um, and then like taking those annotations and, and putting them back and fleshing out the document um, based on that, that this is an awesome article from a group called Cursor based in, in Heidelberg that basically builds all of their, their publications in that way, where they start with prompts and they have the community sort of build the article around it. 
that's obviously going to be very awkward in an interoperable context to see this weird incomplete thread that doesn't make a lot of sense and only makes sense in context of a document that didn't exist when the annotation started. So, um, so those are the, the, the things for us. And so I think the question that we're asking and that we'd love answers to um, is this one, very roughly formulated. I did it literally after I heard um, what Benjamin said and wanted to, uh, to give you something a little more useful than just to complain about the standard. But basically, um, you know, we need to be able to make the argument for interoperability to ourselves and to users in a way where we start hearing from users that they really want it. And that may mean us dipping our toes in it, um, or it may mean uh, that you know, we have to keep pointing our community in, in our communities in directions where we say, look, what we could do if, if this was interesting to you, is this interesting to you? And so um, in conclusion, what I'm going to ask you to do is, no, I'm just kidding. What I'm going to ask you to do is, <laughs> is seriously um, you know, treat this as an, as an earnest invitation to help us make the argument, and in so doing, um, uh, you know, help others facing similar decision trees, uh, others who are way more important than us, I think. Um, we fully acknowledge the standard is new. It's adopting, it's growing, it's evolving to address a lot of these concerns. We also uh, uh, acknowledge that we're probably curmudgeons who don't fully understand the value. Um, but uh, we know we're not alone in that, and so um, use this opportunity to do that. Um, you can annotate this presentation at that, that bit.ly link and tell us why we're wrong. You can come up to me later and talk about it. Um, and with that, thank you so much. Time for one quick question. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, I think part of the value might be, um, what were people doing for PubHub before PubHub existed, right? And the question, the answer might be, they weren't able to do it, right? Until you enable some functionality, people don't realize that they totally. wanted. And maybe if there could be some collaboration between Hypothesis and PubHub so that you both support the <laughs> st open standard? Totally. We, we'd like to do it. It's just a question of, it's a question of, yeah, do we, do we, where is the, where is the value that allows us to justify it, especially on a very small team? What, what, okay, what tools could we build that build off of your thing that would help yeah. you justify that? Yeah, and, and that's a great So that's, that, I think maybe that's an, another question. What, what third-party things can we build for you awesome. that'll help you justify that? Awesome. Yeah, let's talk. Thank you.